programme contains strong language and sexual references from the outset and throughout. I was a massive fan of Jersey Shore and I actually wrote a Facebook status saying, oh my God, Jersey Shore is amazing. I wish I could do something like that. Lo and behold, a year later, I see a newspaper article that says, Geordie Shaw applications, uh, the new hassle version of Jersey Shaw. And I thought, I mean, I'm not from Newcastle, but maybe I could just apply and give it a go. When Holly told me she'd applied for this show called Geordie Shaw, I had no clue um, what it was about. She told me to watch Jersey Shaw. I watched Jersey Shaw. It's nothing like Geordie Shaw. <laughs> I actually went with Holly to her audition. She was really, really nervous on the way up, I remember. I was really nervous for her. We were all sort of like panicking and excitement was flowing because we loved Jersey Shore so much. I have two strips of material covering my nipples with a belt wrapped round. I have blonde streaks in my hair, nine pairs of eyelashes and foundation for lips. Trust me when I say I was unforgettable. Bearing in mind I'm 18 years old, but I was sat there and I was saying, I have got a boyfriend, but don't worry, like, I'll definitely be allowed to get with people. And the producers were obviously shocked, like, what, you'd be, you'd be allowed? I was like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll just come to some agreement before we go, like, it'll be absolutely fine, like, some kind of free pass. I was in the middle of work, learning mortgages that I didn't understand. And then the phone rang and they said, welcome aboard, you're on Geordie Shaw. And obviously at the time, I was excited, but I mean, I didn't realise the level of what it was going to go to. I thought I was taking six weeks off work to go and get drunk with some random people. Like, who wouldn't want to do that? I wasn't overly happy about Holly um, going into Geordie Shaw, but to be honest, I think it made her as a person. First time in our lives, there's nothing to worry about. We're gonna live it up in true Geordie style. Spring in Newcastle means one thing. Guys are ripped. Girls are game as a badger. This is it. There's gonna be eight of we living the Geordie Shore dream. Bring it on. Party, party, party. Boom! We get to be weekend billionaires all week long. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody loves a Geordie, way I. Bring it on. I don't actually know what I expected because reality TV wasn't a big thing then. I thought I was going to go and live with some people, have fun, get drunk, but it didn't actually resonate to me that it was going to be on TV, on one of the biggest channels in the world, for the entire world to see and judge. I mean, if someone asks me if I've got a boyfriend, I'm going to obviously straight up say that I've got a boyfriend, but... I'll probably just leave it until they ask me. Probably everyone in Johnny Shaw will be single, to be honest, not care, I can do what I want. That feeling when I was stood at the back gate and my heart was pounding, and I mean pounding. I can already hear people screaming in the garden. They sound absolutely mortal, and I haven't even arrived yet. I saw this bird, tits walked in, five minutes later, Face walked in, boom. Aye, <laughs> she's got the Geordie tan and the lashes like, but you'd have to be mad to go there. I walked in, I seen these two girls that were already drunk in the hot tub. I seen this girl who literally looked like she was already the Queen Bee and all of these boys who looked so much older than I was. And honestly, I was just terrified. Hey guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Geordie OJ videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?